In this clip we're going to see how to make a paper pyramid. For this clip you need some white card, some other card to make a pattern, pen for drawing, scissors, sticky and a square block to draw around. You will need to start off with your orange card just to make the pattern. So put your square block in the middle and draw around four sides for your square. This will be a square based pyramid. You'll also need to draw around the four sides on your white card. One, two, three, four. Right. We'll cut out this bit because this is going to help us to get the shape right. One, two, three, four sides of the square. So fold, when you've got your little square pattern ready, fold it in half open it out and fold it in quarters. Each of those where the fold reaches the edge needs to be marked with a little point because that gives you the centre of each of those lines. So put your orange square on your base square and mark the centre of each of those lines. And then take your square and put it on each of those dots. Try to make it run straight through. So there it goes on the first dot, mark that. On the next dot, mark that. On the next dot, mark that. And on the last dot, mark that one. Now this is a fiddly bit because you need to, go, to be able to draw nice and straight, join the corners to the dots. If you like to use a ruler, you can. Draw corners to the dots, corners to the dots, corners to the dots. Here's another corner to join to the dot, corner to the dot. You might prefer to use a ruler for this job, but I quite like drawing it by hand. So now I've made a star with four points. Each of the sides of the star needs a little flap, adding on a flap there, flap there, flap there, and a flap there. That's where we'll be putting the glue later. And now we're ready to cut out. So keeping your scissors nice and straight, along the edges and don't ignore the flaps cut round each flap as you go along straight along the edges and round another flap oops I've not cut quite on the flap doesn't matter too much about that to the point back on another side along the edges out round the flap and then again that's another top of the pyramid, straight down, out, along a flap, and out we go again, to the point. Now then, some careful folding along the lines that are the sides of the square. So fold that one up, and back, that one goes down, and back, that one goes down, and back, and the last one, that's it. And now the flaps need to fold along the corners of the pyramid, along the edges. That's another flap going down and another one and another one. So that's where we're going to put the glue. But before you put the glue on, just make sure that all the corners match up beautifully. And that's how we make a pyramid. All you need to do is put a bit of glue on the flaps and turn each one in. Before you do that, you might like to turn it over and think of a bit of decoration to go on the outside of it. I think I'll draw um, some butterflies today. Butterflies would be a nice pattern to have on my pyramid. Dot, 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 dot. I think this side could have a bird. I'll do a funny little bird flying along. Egyptians built pyramids and they liked to decorate them with all sorts of creatures on the pyramids. There's a bird flying along. So when I fold all the sides up to meet, the creatures will be the right way up. And all you've got to do is add your glue. And what I do with the glue, once I've got it in the right position, is hold it quite firmly while you count to ten. That count to ten gives the glue a chance to set a little bit and make the whole thing a bit stronger. So there we are, hold it firmly, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and then the next one until you've gone all the way around and you've got your square underneath and it's a square based pyramid. That's how to make a paper 
Pyramid.